Specifically looking at cotton, um, cotton is a fabric of comfort. But for it to be comfortable, it not only has to lay against the, the skin comfortably and have a, a comfortable hand, it also has to be able to dissipate the accumulation of moisture. It has to be able to dissipate the production of pressure, shearing forces, torque across those areas. Now the garment that we're wearing today uh, on our torso is principally cotton or a cotton blend. And there, air can circulate around it and freely move the perspiration and moisture away from that fabric. However, the, the, the foot-shoe environment is completely different. It's enclosed, there's poor circulation of air, uh, and the cotton then serves to simply absorb moisture produced by the human body. At rest, you and I produce an inordinately large quantity of perspiration. Add a simple walk to that, and the quantities of perspiration jump dramatically. Add in vigorous activities such as a fast-paced walk or a pickup game of basketball or a quick game of racquetball or tennis or a run, uh, the production of perspiration soars dramatically. Now the cotton fiber is excellent at absorbing that moisture to a point. But once that fiber is laden with moisture, the moisture has no place to go. It simply builds up around the skin. Second, secondly, as the fiber begins to absorb that moisture, it really begins to pack down and becomes firmer in its properties. Then it's not able to dissipate pressure, shear force, or torque, and the, those stresses are then delivered directly to the skin and the subcutaneous tissues. Furthermore, as the sock fiber, the cotton fiber, absorbs that moisture, the fiber itself begins to stretch and it does not have much in the way of elasticity to be able to return it to a more natural, to, a, to the shape that it was intended to take. So the, while the garment, the, or the fiber cotton is excellent for purposes where air freely circulates around it, under the rigors and stress of the, the foot shoe environment, it is poorly suited.